All right, welcome to men, everybody. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Pyromancer in Fuego, as I call him. But we're gonna be looking at the skills, we're gonna be looking at the gameplay, see how he interacts with the environment. Now we can only see the first three skills that we've unlocked because the demo only takes you to level seven. So I would say grab your coffee, beverage, whatever you got, hop in, let's take a look at Pyromancer. Right. Welcome in as mentioned, as mentioned in the intro, as mentioned five seconds ago, we are doing uh character is Fuego today. He is in Fuego. So this is Pyromancer. We are going to take a look at some of the gameplay, some of the skills and run a couple missions. Kind of get you used to the interactions between his, his first four skills. So. Uh, I say his because I created a his. <laughs> it could be a hers, it could be a whose, could be a what's, but this is what we've done. So, starting the game in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. So, uh, we have, well, let's take a look. So, we're going to hit the I key. And we're going to take a look at some of the guns that we have acquired. We don't have any legendaries on this character. Actually, I don't have any legendaries on any character. Kind of sad about it. But we are running a SMG. We have a green. Uh, we have a blue. This is the Eventide Bull and Eagle 59. Um, at a firepower of 287. We have burning bullets. So shots inflict burn on enemies with a cooldown of 8 seconds for that. Uh, some of our blue gear, we're running Vagrant's Hood. So lasting fire on the thermal bomb so it increases the time in which uh, killing an affected enemy would cause an explosion by three seconds we have bonus bullet firepower on this armor this is race vest so we have feed the flames replenish 20 percent of ammo in the magazine for every enemy affected by the skill we have lava shots we have volcanic rounds this is funny because you can't even use volcanic rounds yet so Sadly, until we replace this gear, it was just for a high stat. It was a 182 armor, so level 9. Reminder, we are level 7, so we're using level 9 armor as a level 7, which is kind of cool. And we have Wraith Gauntlets, so pants on fire. Um, overheat, increased, increased by 46 the damage to enemies who were damaged by the skill but did not have their status consumed. And then we have our boots. Um, Phoenix Force Overheat earn additional 25 anomaly power per status consumed by the skill for 8 seconds. Stacks up to 10 times. So you can earn up to 250 anomaly power for the stats consumed. So let's go ahead and go to the skills. Skills. So our first skill. We have <clears throat> Heat Wave. This is an Ignite skill. So we summon a fiery wave that deals 48 damage and inflicts burn onto all enemies in its path. Skill number two, we have, uh, you can feed the flames. Select and pull an enemy towards you, dealing 69 damage, giggity, and 69 health, and inflicting ash. So we're going to drain health, we're also going to deal damage, and we're going to inflict ash, okay? And then we're going to have thermal bombs. So select an enemy, burn, interrupt, and deal 36 damage. The interrupt is really good for the elites, and we'll see that later. Um, if killed while still affected by the skill, the enemy will explode, dealing 307 damage within a large radius. That is a 14 second cooldown. And then we have overheat. So we deal 10 damage to all enemies within a large radius, interrupt their skills. Enemies affected with burn receive 124 damage instead. The burn will be consumed. So as we saw in the first skill, our first skill, over here, we can inflict burn damage, and then you can you can hit number two. You can hit this skill over here, and the burn will be consumed. That is how you can you could utilize these. Ash basically slows down enemies. Um, it's it's really cool. So if you have burn on somebody, you can get them hit them with the second skill, <clears throat> and you can consume the burn. Right now, we are running. We are running Feed the Flames, Thermal Bomb, and Overheat, and it's mainly due to I have boost to the skills, and so we're running those. So we have four skills that are still locked. Those are locked behind level 9, 13, 17, and 22. All right, so with that, 
All right. So when you're at crossroads, um, you're just gonna you can get some ammo real quick, and then when you come back over here, if you have Terra Inferma as your active quest, you just go to the bridge, hit Z, and this is where you're gonna kill the snipers, and you're also gonna kill the main boss. And so we're going to run through here. Um, as mentioned, we are using a sniper and an SMG. So I have a, I have a long range and I have a short range. And then let's look at some skills too. So you come into this first room, you can actually, um, instead of popping skills, you can actually just take them out. All right. So we've got... We're gonna have a room of people coming in here. We're gonna go ahead and spam that interrupt skill. It does a little bit of damage and it also interrupts. Pop skill two and we pulled some of that energy from him. Also did damage. So it's kind of like a leech. And then our third skill, it's gonna send that thermal bomb all the way across and do some pretty good damage. And as always, if you kill somebody, you do, you do get the energy back. I'm gonna go ahead and take him out. These guys are like Chungus Among Us, man. They, all right, we're gonna do that so we can do the AOE. Skill one is the AOE. Put them under <laughs> Thermal Bomb real quick. And when they die, they do explode and leave behind a bomb, so you don't want to keep them up all the time. All right. We're going to do an interrupt on him. Pop him with that sniper shot. We're going to head back over here. The first time you do this, I don't know if this is daily, but there is, there is a chest you can get every single time. We got a chest called goodies. It's got some ammo, but there is a, should be a chest over here too. Pick that up and you can actually just, uh, you know, there would normally be a, like a, a chest right over here that you can get, but since it's not our first time to do the mission, then it's usually not there. So we'll head over and Looks like we're good on ammo. So we'll go through to the next area. Now this area is going to have a couple of uh, captains. It's also going to have these snipers. These snipers over here can drop. Ooh, see those bullets? These snipers over here can drop some decent loot. And if you want, you can finish off the captains. You can go back and get your reward. Or if you're like me, you can just get to the end of this right here. See if you get any loot. And if you don't, you can just have the last guy kill you. And when the last guy kills you, you can reset on the mission and just play the snipers again. So we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and zap him for some energy. Finish him off. Swap back to the sniper. I'm gonna pick him off. If you go over here, there's gonna be a thing that comes in and blows that up. It's very dramatic. So there's a green drop over there, which I don't really need. I'm gonna take him out. Oh, he ducked. Uh, here's the captain. He is, he's spamming some skills right now. When I say spamming, he's really just using skills. And there's a, there's a marksman up here that will drop loot as well. I can't seem to target him. There we go. Meanwhile, the captain is actively hitting you, which is not fun. Take this guy out real quick. Go ahead and do that. I seem to be getting hit for some reason. 
kill him and we're going to get some energy back. Leech him so we can get some energy back. Should be able to kill him before he actually pops another skill. Oh, oh, he's doing it. Yeah, there we go. All right, so you can see the captain doesn't really drop any good loot. But the marksman can. So there's a potential for... Oh, why is he alive? Okay, that's the first time that's happened. <laughs> the captain just came back to life. Hello? What is the deal with that? So we're popping all of our skills. We're going to interrupt him. <laughs> we're going to kill him again. Either that is the second captain who just spawned out of the first captain. Or that captain just came back to life. I've never actually seen that before. We're going to have to post that as like a second clip. <laughs> that was hysterical. All right, let's go do these. Let's go pick these up. Um, these guys are really just like, you can go back and get the reward from Shira. What I'm going to do is pick up this gear because I can, uh, I can use, always use the trinkets that you get from it, from uh, dismantling. All right, I just almost killed everybody. So what I'm going to do is let him kill me. And then we can reset. So we'll just let him do that. This is how you reset the mission and you can try to farm for legendaries. He's taking his sweet time and I'm actually healing while he's doing that. I'm not even pressing anything. Come on, bud. Let's go. Let me all get really close to him. Come on, take me out. Let's go. Reload. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me now. I must die. Kill me. Oh, man. Really took them a long time just to kill me. And you can reset right here. So this is great. All right. So that's pretty much the gist. Um, let me swap out and I'll show you. So we have this shotgun, but I'm not a big fan of shotguns right now. We did pick up two items, but they're green, so they're not going to be as good. Let's go back to our skills and let's show off. So heat wave is only good in close proximity. So let's see which one we want to do. This one pulls in health. This one interrupts and this one interrupts. Um, we'll go ahead and, and replace that with heat wave. All right, so we're still going to use our overheat to do interrupt. And, and these tool tips right here are really helpful. So we have explosive, we have interrupt, we have immobilize, and we also have ignite. So we're going to ignite some people, and then we're going to... It's better to ignite them first, and then you can utilize all the burn damage with overheat. So we'll see if we can do that. You have to get kind of close for that to happen, but we'll try that with the... See, those guys drop one. Pretty much every time. We're gonna pop him. Ooh, that was almost a good shot. All right, so he's getting kind of close. Go ahead and use that skill. All right, so he's burning, and you can see that we uh, we pulled all that burn damage and consumed it. And that is basically what you want to do with that. It's kind of like your one-two combo. He's not in range, so... And let that explode. It's burning on the ground. Reminder, if you are burning, you can always do your roll. And you can get out of it. Alright, so that took me all the way over here, which I wasn't really looking forward to. Pop those two guys. Pop that guy. So we can pretty much body every single one of these guys. Here comes the captain. Interrupt him. See, I, there's no way that that'll reach over there. So it is really short range skill. These burning bullets, you can consume the burning bullets. Uh, very helpful. Once they are burning and they have those bullets, I can hit my... I can hit my first skill. See, that actually inflicts 
That inflicts damage on every single person that's over here. I'm gonna suck in some more life. We're dying. Actively throwing right now. <laughs> Actively throwing right now. I need some kind of skill. There we go. And we died. Not really sure why he won't go back into cover when he does that, but so it's it's not ideal to use that skill in this area. But it is a really good skill. All right. Kill him. See, there's a blue that dropped over there. All right. Spam that. Consume it. And he's dead. Gotta get rid of our burning. Somehow it takes three rolls to get rid of the burning. Light him on fire. And he's dead. Yeah, so we've got a couple of blue drops over there. That we will want to pick up. That guy's just out in the wide open. So we are going to try to kill the captain actively on this one. Because we do want to pick up those drops. If I can get my reticule on him, sometimes you can actually get a kill off. There we go. Sometimes they're hiding and they just peek. And if they peek, you can nab them. Alright, let's get over here. Take him out. Take him out. Try to interrupt him. Marksman has got me right in his sights. There we go. So now I get some healing. That's not going to reach them. Unfortunate. Interrupt him. See, there's that. There's the other breacher that comes out. There's these a breacher. Breacher gets close. I'm gonna go ahead and light him on fire. Captain has like shock rounds now. So he's on fire. We wanna consume that. Pull him in. Alright, he just dropped two blue drops. So we have five blues. We have five blues on the ground. Basically, we just finished the mission. So, we have one, two, a three, a four, and a five. Nothing legendary. I'm assuming those would drop like purple or gold. So, go, got some armor. And another weapon. So if you go ahead and finish the cinematic, you climb the hillside. We all know how it ends. Saves his buddy. I'm gonna get shot. So what we're gonna do is go back to town, reset the mission, get our reward. And you can pretty much do this every single time. Anyways, that's pretty much Pyro. Uh, it does have some cool skills, so inflicting ash or burn are two procs that you'll want to do for for some uh, extra DPS or crowd control. The um, the skills do feed off each other, which is pretty cool. So if you do have some burn damage, you can uh, you can basically consume all of it with a different skill. I haven't seen if you can actually consume uh, anything like ash yet, but we'll see as the skills change so we'll go over here go to shira complete the mission and this is how you rinse and repeat if you want to if you want to do that mission again and you want to get this from shira you can come back and do that skip through that 
and you should be able to visit Shira again and accept the quest. Otherwise, you can just stay in the mission. All right, so what did we pick up? We picked up a double gun standard variant. This one has burning bullets. God, I'll be all when I'm, gone. I'm not really sure what a double gun is. But this submachine gun is 309. This is 288, but it has burning bullets. And burning bullets are good. All right, so let's go here, select that. So we have two weapons now that have burning bullets. So our firepower is a little bit down, but we do have burning bullets on both, so that's not bad. All right, so we have a hood. Um, lasting fire. So this is for thermal bomb, but we don't have thermal bomb equipped, but I do like thermal bomb, so we are actually going to put that on. So increase the time in which killing an affected enemy will cause an explosion by three seconds. Ooh, that's nice. And what do we lose? We lose lasting fire. Oh, we don't actually lose... We don't actually lose a perk at all. So we'll go back here. Um, instead of heat wave, we'll actually throw thermal bomb back on. Thermal bomb just has a better reach. So it depends in, in the area. If you have a lot of, you have a lot of enemies coming in close, um, heat wave is a better option. But if you're trying to get to get, you know, a lot of people hide, they still do, you know, cover based in certain areas. So I would say the boss that's in the underground, like in the bunker area is probably a better area to use heat wave. And then for this area with the captains, you want to use thermal bomb just because it's got a longer, it's got a longer range. So we'll go to inventory, see what kind of gloves we got. We got 204 gloves. 204 gloves inflicts weakness on enemies affected by the skill. So that was a, that's a heat wave skill. What do we lose? We lose pants on fire. So we gain a little bit of here, but we lose a skill perk. I'm not really sure if we want to lose the skill perk or not. That's tough. That's tough. We'll keep them around. Um, right now we're doing pretty good. Our armor's 932. If we pop those on, we'll be at 950. But we do lose that skill. We do lose that perk. That's unfortunate. So, uh, there we go. So that was a short demo of Pyro. I would say great, kind of great all around. Um, long range, really good. You can swap to close range if you need to. I would say, you know, inflicting burn, inflicting, uh, the, the, the first skill that I showed off has huge AOE, like huge that's overheat. So overheat, I was pretty much affecting everybody on the map with that. So if you're just in a really bad firefight and there's a lot of enemies around, you want to you want to blast overheat because that interrupt is incredible for getting back your bearings, uh, getting back to cover, whatever you need to do. So I would say definitely use that in a pinch, uh, almost like a super, right? Um, feed the flames if somebody gets in close, you need healing, stuns them and gives you the healing and does damage. Like, kind of awesome right and then thermal bomb thermal bomb is great uh it doesn't matter if they're behind cover it's not something you lob it's not a grenade um it's actually a skill that you just you hit uh, it does line of sight and as long as you have somebody in your line of sight you can pop it and hit them and then if you need to run and do a close combat i would say swap up to heat wave so you can inflict burn and then you can consume that burn uh with overheat so uh very cool Anyways, uh, tune in more. We'll have uh, we'll have the other two classes in our next videos, and I'll link those uh, whenever we get those ready. But today, this has been Pyromancer. Hope you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos on Outriders. And we'll see you next time. Eat it.